Trent Alexander-Arnold contract talks. Now, there's an interesting one. I think I mentioned this to you quite a long time ago. Mm. Um, there's a report come out that he's close to an agreement over a new Liverpool contract. He's got less than two years left on his current deal. There's speculation about Real Madrid and Barcelona being interested, but that's no huge surprise to anyone, let's be honest. But it's interesting to me because obviously I mentioned two years left there. So there's a likelihood that Liverpool are going to want to tie him down anyway. Yeah. And then when you factor in the fact that he's obviously <laughs> so, so important to Liverpool as a footballer, he's now also vice-captain. This makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it, to get yeah. a new deal? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't be, you know, it's not sort of too strange a point to make that the vice-captaincy, I, I imagine, <laughs> factors into to the, the, the contract negotiations, you know, that... It's a sign of how much he's rated and how important he is to the team, and there's, it's a clear succession plan, isn't it? You know, with Virgil, the age that he is. So, yeah, I don't, I don't anticipate any problem. I mean, I think it's, it will be interesting to know what sort of impact the Saudi Arabia thing has on where clubs pitch big contract renewals. You know, with with with, with key players in the prime. You know, do you, do you sort of how do you? How do you frame it as a great deal when they know that they can earn yeah. so much money elsewhere? But I don't, I don't anticipate any problems with with Trent and his renewal. You know, he's listen. We've we've seen players go back on their words in the past, but Trent's sort of entire career has been built around the idea: I want to be Liverpool's main man. I want to captain this cl- club. I want to be win everything. Mm-hmm. You know, he's he's the symbol really of this Liverpool rise under Jurgen Klopp, isn't he? Or one of one of them in particular. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I, I, you don't want to be letting it go too much longer. I think I wouldn't be at all surprised if, you know, within the next month or two, we're talking about Trent's f- new five-year contract or, you know, long-term contract, should we say. Yeah, he's coming into his prime now, isn't he, as well, in terms of age as well. I mentioned, obviously, his, his importance to the side, his importance to Jürgen Klopp's plans, his extra responsibility being vice-captain. But I wondered whether... Obviously, we know Alisson triggered a new clause in his deal to sort of get a pay rise. We know Mohamed Salah's what he's on. Well, Trent, not necessarily he's going to go there sort of begging for the same amount of money as what they're on, but he's likely to use that as a yardstick, you would imagine, because yeah. that's what agents and footballers do, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, and he, I mean, he he's already very well paid, and I'm, 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 I'm certain of that. And he knows how important he is to the team. There's no there's no disguise in it. You know, he's he's not just... An old school sort of vice captain, and with all due respect, I mean James Milner was very important, but James Milner's sort of value to Liverpool as vice captain was was off the field more, mm. you know, as much as on the field. Trent's Trent is not just the vice captain; he's he's the, the hub of the team, really, isn't he? Or one of the hubs creatively. So the responsibility he has on the pitch as well is is huge. So yeah, there'll be no. There's no chance Liverpool are going to undervalue him. You know, we've seen a few players, haven't we, in the in the, the last. Few months, Mason Mount, I think, is an example of mm. someone who could come through. And don't think anyone ever thought he was going to be leaving Chelsea. And you start seeing it, oh, he, he feels like they're sort of they're not treating him right, or they're not giving him the right kind of wages. I don't think Liverpool will make that mistake with Trent because he is he's one of those players that, like you say, you, if he leaves Liverpool, it's it's only to the top. It's mm. only, it's only to to Real Madrid. So you know, I can't ever imagine he goes to Manchester City. But it's only to the the yeah. sort of the elite level. He's not he's not someone who you can say to him, well, you know, go on and you want to take your chances elsewhere. It's only downhill. It's not for someone like Trent. You know, he's 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 world class mm-hmm. and of that bracket. So yeah, it would be it would be madness if Liverpool were to sort of leave any gaps there in terms of you know how much he's appreciated or what they're willing to pay him or mm. you know what what role they're willing to give him you know they've already shown that they're willing to to build so much of their current team and the future teams around them yeah absolutely and as you mentioned the, the Milner one he was a very good vice captain for the ball because whenever he did yeah, take the arm band he was brilliant and he was so good around the dressing room we've seen him sort of going to academy matches and all that he was a role model wasn't he led by example but he was never the heir apparent to Jordan Henderson because he's no, not going exactly. to start wherever Trent's Trent's more like a you know Stephen Gerrard type figure yeah. isn't he you know at Liverpool where I mean I, I don't agree with it but a lot of people Jordan are, his time as captain so well actually Carrick is more of the captain of Liverpool mm-hmm. Steven Gerrard is more of the symbol of Liverpool but Trent's, Trent's like that isn't he Trent's, Trent's sort of you know he's he's your boy isn't he he's not he's not he's not your sort of you're in there to shout at people and to sort of you know to to, to overtly be that captain figure he, he's an example player and, and someone who 
set standards, you know, through his, his the quality of his play. Obviously, he's got the the symbolism of being a local lad and a, you know an inspiration to you know future generations yeah. as, as a captain. So yeah, he's very much in that Gerard territory, and I don't think Steven Gerrard was ever um, <laughs> was ever let down in terms of his his wages that he was being offered. I know I know he had a little bit of a a, a wobble mm. at one point, but I think that was. Resolve pretty quickly. Yeah, Liverpool are going to want to avoid anything of that sort. Oh, well, yeah. Aren't they, with this? You know, we, we, I mentioned there sort of off the cuff and in passing that Real Madrid and Barcelona have shown an interest. And you mentioned Man City. But this is what we're talking about here. We're talking about a player who, if, if, if even a sniff of him becoming available, those sort of clubs yeah. would be all over. We had it with Levi Colwell to a lesser extent. Yeah. We thought there might be a chance of getting Colwell out of Chelsea. So we were all kind of sniffing around it. If Trent ever, ever showed any signs of a wobble, there'd be Real Madrid banging down the door. Yeah, I, I, I mean... Barcelona, I would question, given their, 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 yeah, their, <laughs> yeah. their financial issues, that they might have to do a little bit more digging before they can uh, they can start targeting players like that. But yeah, you're right. Like, you know, it's sort of it's one of them, isn't it? Real Madrid's interest in Trent Alexander-Arnold. I know, yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know. So yeah, so so is every club in the world. You know, yeah. it's a bit like that, isn't it? But yeah, absolutely. He look, he we know he belongs at the top level. He does, and mm. I, I suppose the other thing it. it it does bring about a little bit of a pressure of getting back into the Champions League from yeah. a Liverpool perspective, you know, for, for players like him. You know, if, if you were getting to two, three years out of the Champions League, it does become that issue then, you know, a bit like Arsenal. You know, Arsenal found themselves in, in, the, in the back end of the Wenger era and then mm. beyond where players that they would have built their, their whole sort of world around they couldn't because they, they they wanted to go and play at that level so Trent's definitely in that in that category that you know yeah his phone his phone wouldn't start ringing if he was um, if he was ever thinking about leaving Liverpool and thankfully I don't think he uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue anytime no, soon no no I mean like I said get it wrapped up nice and swiftly and um, please Liverpool get him tied down that'd be fine by all of us hello everyone I hope you enjoyed that small section of my conversation with a brilliant Neil Jones if you'd like to watch or listen to the show in full head to redmenplus.com now sign up as a captain or the legend and you'll get that plus all the other amazing content that we do here every day at the Redmen TV take it easy thank you so very very much for checking out the video if you enjoyed it drop a like uh, the season is now well underway if you need extra Redmen content be it podcast videos documentaries interviews and general shows fill your boots on redmenplus.com today